Hello everybody, this is Keith and Rachel again bringing you a short devotional video from the Word of the Lord. We hope you're doing fine, hope your family is well, and we are praying for you. We know there are some people that are very close to us right now who are uh, struggling with this virus, and we are praying for them. And, and for you who have lost loved ones, uh, for whatever reason, we're praying for you as well. We know that... Um, when this time comes and we lose people that are close to us, it happens. And we're just very uh, sympathetic for you today and calling upon the Lord on your behalf. You know, I was thinking how most of my life from being a, a young kid growing up, I've always been a person. I know you're not going to believe what I'm going to say, but I've always liked to talk <laughs> And it's always been my mouth that's got me in trouble. You know, uh, if I had just not had said what I said or did what I did, but even now today, you know, if you can just take back some of the things you say, how much better off would you be? And um, I remember being so talkative as a young boy. My, grand, my granddaddy Crocker would look at me on occasion and say, boy, the reason you have two ears and one mouth is so you can listen more than you talk. I don't think that really sat well with me. I know I didn't listen to it very well, but you know, uh, today we have an opportunity when we talk to do either wonderful things or irreparable damage. When we talk to people and when we say things, we can't take it back. Uh, it's on record. We can say we're sorry uh, a lot, but people sometimes will never forget what it is you say. And the tongue, according to James chapter 3, says, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil. And listen to what he says. It's full of deadly poison. You can injure somebody's feelings uh, their their hopes, you can dash their optimism, and it can do things to them that even on the surface you may not see, but inside they'll never forget. He said, out of the same mouth, in James chapter 3, verse 10, out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. And the notes in my Bible says, should not happen. Now, that's a kind of a strange verse to me because it says blessing and cursing. Now, we know about the cursing. We've all encountered people who have brought those things to us, and, and perhaps you as well as myself many, many years ago have been guilty of cursing people, not necessarily profanity, but doing things that would uh, wishing evil on someone. And, you know, that's never right for the child of God. But if you read the Bible, we have an opportunity to do well with our mouth. Uh, you know, the Bible says in one, one place that everything that hath breath ought to praise the Lord. That's always a good thing. But, you know, we should want to help people any way that we can. And if you can't do anything else, you can say something that would uplift them. Be positive. Eliminate the negative. There's so much negativity in this world. We don't need anything else negative. We ought to look at the good in this world, you know, and, and you say, well, what's the good? Well, normal may never come back, but I promise you one thing, Jesus is, Jesus is coming. And, and that is a positive friend that we can look forward to. And, you know, in the, in the old Testament, um, the, the Lord told Moses to relay to Aaron, his brother. And he said, Aaron, here's what I want you to, uh, give to my children. And I quote, and this is in the, in the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24. Maybe we ought to learn this and tell it to people uh, that would really do them some good. And here it goes. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Don't you want to be a blessing? Don't you want people around you to be blessed? Can you rejoice in their blessing as much as you can your own? 
lift somebody up today. You know what I've learned? And, and I could I didn't bring the scripture to this platform tonight, but did you know that Job's situation turned around when he took his attention off himself and started praying for other people? That's a good thing to do with your mouth, friend. And listen, you can do a lot of good if you want to. I know you, you can. Sometimes we just have to be reminded. I know I do that the words that I speak are life or death, and we can speak that. God bless you, friend. Rachel and I love you, and we're standing by to help you in any way we possibly can. And if you need us, please don't hesitate to call. God bless you.